morning, my soccer universe. Uh, there are actually three games I want to talk about yeah, that happened yesterday. All of them with their separate implications um, that are kind of in interesting. But before I forget, there was a fourth one in Spain. Eibar and Bilbao. Bilbao won through a penalty, but I didn't see any highlights. I just saw that Bilbao is putting themselves into a pretty good spot and now to get out of the relegation zone, which I think is something uh, that any friend of La Liga will happily see. Okay, where shall we start? Let's start in England. Uh, FA Cup fifth round, the big matchup between Chelsea and Manchester United. And I think you can, the story is quickly told. Chelsea is dominating possession, maybe having even the better of the game. And United scores more or less out of nowhere through under Herrera, uh, who gets free and just can slot it home. It was really uh, surprising to me when I saw this, that uh, Chelsea actually was in the game, but just couldn't connect it. Uh, you know, they are a little bit on the skids, so to say. Then shortly after, uh, Pogba makes it 2-0 with a kind of a diving header, and that kills off the tie. Uh, it's 2-0 away from home, second half, uh, same story, except that no one scores anymore, and we have a 2-0 win. For Manchester United, and so the only two big name teams that are left in the FA Cup are the two Manchester clubs. Uh, and barring any weird um, draw, those two will probably play in the FA Cup final. But that's uh, still some stuff that needs to happen before that. Uh, but you know, one of the two I think will win the FA Cup. I think we can say this kind of confidently. Then uh, Roma is playing at home to Bologna, and if you saw already the final result, oops, this keeps falling. It. If you saw the final result, you would say, "Oh, same old, same old." No, this was not. This was everything but straightforward. In the first half, Bologna had many, many, many chances to put this game uh, um, safely into their uh, to their liking but they just couldn't connect and Roma barely had had any chances however they get a penalty shortly after halftime break and with that they uh, got a lot of converts and everything is of course easier um, Fazio I mean Roma controlled the game but that was basically it Fazio then makes it 2-0 and with, with very little effort, Roma looks good. Uh, but Bologna, I have to say, under uh, Mihailovic, Bologna at the moment looks like a changed team. Uh, it's gotta be said. Um, they put one back, pull one back, but it's a little bit too little, too late. They should have. They really needed to convert the chance. I think they had. They hit the bar. Had me, they had especially for first half. They had a few more really good scoring opportunities and they just cannot make it um, of course I'm split um, I like Roma I want Roma to also get in the top four uh, but I want Milan to more get into the top four so I mean Bologna could have gotten a result Milan would look a lot more comfortable than they look at the moment anyway but yeah uh, Serie A is interesting the race for, I think there's even a race for third spot, an uh, argument can, can, I mean, although Inter is four points ahead, it's not out of it, totally. And then we had a game in Germany, Dortmund against Nürnberg, where actually Nürnberg at the beginning was, was, was a little bit more in the game, but then um, halfway through the first half, uh, Dortmund is asserting themselves and Mario Götze has a personal duel with the goalkeeper. I think there were three or four chances uh, where it was always saved by the goalkeeper. By the way, uh, Dortmund playing in all yellow is a look that I actually can get behind. I think this looks, this looks quite good to me. Uh, especially if they have the black sleeves. Uh, 
that looks actually pretty cool, I can say. Um, and the second half, this duel continues, but Dortmund cannot find the breakthrough. So, um, on the positive, you can say that they have not given up a goal, which against the last place team is a pretty weak, weak statement, let's put it that way. Uh, especially a team that doesn't skill score many goals. Uh, on the other hand, um, you cannot score. Seemingly Marco Reus is missing badly. The flu bug that went through the team hits at a very critical juncture, it seems. I mean, they gave up many, many opportunities earlier this year to put a distance between themselves and they uh, seemingly uh, forgot how to win. Uh, the Dortmund that played in the first half wouldn't have had these troubles. And now the difference is only three points between Dortmund and Bayern. That's exactly the difference. That's this is not really smelling distance because now uh, even if it goes all, everyone wins out. There is still a direct duel between Bayern and Dortmund. And that one is where Bayern uh, can get level with Dortmund and you know goal difference. I don't know how it is now at the moment, but I would assume that Bayern. If they need it, they can rack up easier goals than Dortmund uh, can, at least at the moment. Um, so you really gotta wonder what's wrong with Dortmund. And um, I'm, I think it is down to injuries and you know this flu bug that went through, but also that you know uh, this young squad now is, is feeling the pressure and maybe is afraid of its own. Uh, how to say courage. It's very similar to England at the moment, where you thought there's a clear, clear uh, distance between Liverpool and City, same as with, between Dortmund and Bayern, and Bayern even losing to Leverkusen. Uh, I mean, you had such a big chance of really putting some distance. Same goes for Liverpool. They really uh, both could do it. And, hmm, doesn't it really doesn't look all that well at the moment? But you know, those things can can be also very temporarily. I mean, we always think that now this goes on forever. Um, we also thought that Bayern is forever in a slump, and they weren't. Uh, and similarly, that City is in a slump. Now they are not anymore. So you know, it has still lots to be played and. You know, I'd rather have those three points uh, ahead than uh, the other way around. So, you know, you still have a little cushion, and who knows, maybe this is now this rough patch that you need to walk through, through it in the season. And I really hope that both Dortmund and Liverpool will get through the rough patch and will bring home the trophies. Uh, that they so desire. So that's my take. I am a little bit worried about Dortmund, but on the other side, Dortmund will not have to play Champions League soon anymore. Uh, so that also might help out things that they are not playing in the German Cup anymore. So looking at all, all that, it is a uh, championship opposite. And I would say Liverpool will probably have a similar problem very, very, very soon. Bayern Liverpool, that's a matchup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know exactly where this will where this will eventually end end up. It seems a very level, very level matchup. Anyway, so those are my thoughts on the games yesterday. Uh, let me know if you watched the game. I actually didn't. I just watched highlights. I'm still trying to recover and try to take take easy. And uh, I may watch a Champions League tie today, but uh, has to be seen how I feel. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates 
on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day